Hello my beautiful friends, it's me again reporting to you from beautiful Bulgaria. It's just been a few days since I returned from my uh, trip. I've uh, had a lot of rest and now I am back again on my steed about 12 kilometers away from uh, uh, the world's number one resort of course Sunny Beach Bulgaria and I am currently in a tiny little town called let me show you in Cyrillic called Kamenar I hope I'm saying this correctly it's really really empty here I don't know why it's actually quite nice I'm inside this cool little kids park or adult park absolutely perfect for drinking a pirinsko uh, having cigarette parties and uh, just you know having your kids uh, run around and uh, and have fun great place to have a barbecue of course but there's nobody here and I'm not sure why it's really warm still but it's a bit windy you'll notice the, the camera picking up a lot of wind again I'm so sorry I don't know exactly how to um, how to deal with that but it is what it is so there's a lot of improvements here in this little uh, in this little town there's a lot of like new buildings I think there's a lot of expats that live here who you know I uh, want to cl live close to the sea but also have that cool little village life there's some really beautiful homes here uh, just uh, on the outskirts of this place uh, and it's actually quite uh, <laughs> it's clean which is awesome okay I'm gonna give you guys a, a, a bit of a, a bit of an update here you know millions of you have been sending me horse tranquilizer and flowers and Bibles and of course thoughts and prayers but this whole COVID thing uh, you know just nothing really uh, materialized aside from that uh, crazy sweaty uh, sweaty night uh, back in uh, Ibiza Ibiza uh, I've been feeling just fine I'm completely off booze so maybe that that helped me out a little bit I got lots of rest and I'm just kind of super uh, super in, uh, relaxed relaxed mode I've been playing some video games yesterday and and just I'm just sort of hanging out so that's definitely helpful if you're if you're feeling unwell but I've never I haven't really felt unwell my throat I think I'm fine uh, I sound fine so who the hell knows but that's just the way it is so so thank you for all the nice wishes and stuff so the reason why I'm here of course is to kind of explore this place and there's a lot of uh, like I said a lot of improvements here like Eastern, Eastern European European Union money uh, a lot of it has been poured into here uh, as uh, in a lot of Bulgarian towns and villages and stuff like that so there's like a new bridge and all brand new roads and of course this park behind me and some of these uh, government buildings there's a school cool uh, I believe that's the school it's really cool like really beautiful really quaint imagine growing up in a place like this you know you're just like this stupid little kid and uh, you get to enjoy this kind of a beautiful uh, quaint little place and then you, you still you know a few moments from the sea so I mean it's pretty uh, pretty awesome um, so the reason why I'm here again I have my uh, my steed with me uh, today and um, I'm actually heading over to sorry turn off my lights I'm heading out to Burgess today why you ask because I'm planning a pretty fancy pretty epic trip to Vietnam in uh, in a few weeks I guess I should say in a couple of months and uh, I need to buy a new backpack and just do a little bit of shopping for uh, for trip stuff uh, as much of an advocate I am for buying stuff online I do think that you know if you're gonna be spending a lot of money you know a few hundred euros on a backpack it's best to buy it uh, from a local place from some local people local shop and then of course try it on and feel it on your body uh, before uh, before making you know pretty big uh, it's a really big purchase for me uh, important purchase for me so I'm going to check out a few shops I've decided on an Osprey pack and there's a couple shops in Burgess that sell them hopefully they can uh, either order for me or maybe they have something in stock so fingers crossed that I'll be able to uh, to do that sunny beach right now you know what a stark contrast to this uh, this place here is really really busy tons of vehicular traffic okay so if you were to let's say be uh, in, in uh, Flower Street and then you you know your car is parked out of the complexes or something like that I never recommend anyone bring their vehicle here of course completely pointless but if you do have a car here just here for a day trip the back highway is bumper to bumper so I'm thinking like let's say from Lados or Flower Street whatever if you want to go down to Janet the, the big Janet to stock up on your Pirinsko and buy yourself some pork livers from the deli you're looking at a 45 minute like 
really boring uh, back to back sort of uh, sort of a cruise I mean you're going as quickly as like a legless squirrel I mean seriously just like <laughs> like this because the, I guess the lights whatever whatever the reason there's a lot of people and it's really slow and of course it's just you know one one way each way kind of thing so you're, you're a little bit stuck I can't even imagine how how busy the main road is so so just be careful well nothing to be careful about just um, be weary to you know add yourself an extra 45 minutes if you're heading to Burgess let's say from sunny beach or heading back in by car you are way better every single time million times better taking a bus it's incredibly inexpensive it's it always uh, it's always on time I mean these motherfuckers leave on the minute every minute like every you know whenever they're scheduled it's incredible how punctual the Bulgarian folks are when it comes to buses when your bus leaves at 10 30 your bus leaves at 10 30 there's no fucking around okay so so yeah so take a bus take a bus to burgers and you can have you can sneak a little Pirinsko with you in your backpack and you know you're not supposed to do this but you can if you want to and have a couple of a Pirinsko sips on the bus and then you don't have to worry about parking and and you know fuel and all this stuff fuel costs for my bike right now have doubled uh, uh, in, uh, when, every time I fill up now, so it's 38 leva to fill up my tank now. So nothing to sneeze at, that's real money. So uh, just so you know, uh, the world has gone insane. Okay, so I'm gonna head over to jump on my bike, head over to Burgess, and uh, hopefully come back with a pack and maybe some really uh, some cool food. Maybe maybe have a little barbecue. Who knows? Check out this uh, boat. It's definitely seen better days, but yeah, it's like a, I don't know, like a speedy boat. Would have been a cool speedy boat. Yeah, it's actually still restorable. Is that a word? Okay, that's it from this place here. And there's a little restaurant at the corner. Sorry, went again. Uh, there's a little restaurant at the corner here that I've been to before. And of course, Bulgarian food, that kind of stuff, shembe and beers and stuff. But it's actually really good. Uh, I, I found it to be really good. They'll, they'll do your barbecue sort of on the fly uh, and cold beers and stuff like that. So if, you are, uh, if you're ever here, check out the restaurant. But it's closed, so sorry, it's not good uh, because of the wind. I'll try again in a few minutes. Bye. So, so the restaurant, I think it's actually is actually open. So there's one shop. So you can pick up your seven day and your cigarettes and your pirinsko. There are some fellas here enjoying their beers, of course, as they should. But let me show you the restaurant. It's really, um, really Bulgarian. Look how amazing this is. It's just a room. But there's nobody here. Oh, look at this. She's in 3D. I know the camera doesn't catch the the uh, the 3D ness, but if you go, she's actually in 3D. I wonder who that is. Okay, so look at the rest of the stuff. Of course, fancy televisions. Top of the line CRT. Hey, these things are expensive now because of all the gamers. There is some sort of a internet router stuff. Beautiful tapestries and. Those swans. Oh, I love this country because you get to see all these really cool things. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go definitely jump on the bike now and go. Too bad this place is not uh, full of people because I'll definitely like to have a little soda water and some some barbecue. I made it to Burgess, super nice and fast. It's so hot still, holy, and it's really windy, so I'm like, Wee! like a chicken down the road. So you have to be really careful. If you're here on a bike or a scooter and you get out there into the fields, yeah, be, just be careful because it's like, shoo, very gusty, especially on days like this. So I'm here, just kind of arrived. As you get off the main road, you just kind of go right past the gas station. And of course, that's where all the malls and all the little shops. However, I want to show you guys something. So a lot of the Bulgarian the larger cities uh, uh, where they have a, a shopping center or a big big uh, grocery shops and stuff like that they have little grills grills uh, outside in the parking lot so when you're waiting for your wife to buy her 
uh, unmentionables inside the mall. You can sit outside and have a beer and have very, very traditional Bulgarian food, but sort of in a, I hate to say Western nice fashion, but kind of in a sort of a very fast food, extremely clean, extremely friendly, extremely efficient, just in and out way to really enjoy some really great Bulgarian food and consistently awesome Bulgarian food. And again, super nice, super friendly. You always know what you're gonna get. Uh, the menu is, you know, relatively uh, small from chicken wings to, to all the, you know, Skara barbecue places, beer. Absolutely, absolutely perfect place just to sit and chill and wait. I, love, I like coming here, again, just because it's, uh, they, they take credit cards and nice place to sit, it's clean, nobody bothers me. So I just wanna show you guys what I usually like to buy. This is my Bulgarian uh, fitness lunch. Uh, it's actually my first meal of the day, I have no idea why I, uh, I do this, but uh, let me show you. Anyway, so here it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll point. I like soda water always. So this is the kebabche, about as traditional Bulgarian as you can get. This is the kufteta and pickles. So this, the reason why it's called a fitness lunch is the kebabche, of course, it's for your, it's for your abs. You know, if you're working on your abs and you want like a six pack, you buy the, the long ones, the, the, they look kind of like sausages. Of course, if you're looking for biceps, make sure you're always buying symmetry. So I always buy two. So if you're working on your biceps, you know, buy the kufteta, of course. Uh, you know, again, don't, don't overdo it. And, uh, you know, I don't need to tell you why you should always buy the pickles. But this is it. And it's awesome. And I love coming here. And this is just at the entrance uh, to Burgess, but of course you'll find them absolutely everywhere and uh it's go grill but they have other brands and stuff like that so you'll see uh you'll see these little these little shops these little uh stands and the food is always going to be really really delicious I highly recommend it if you're just kind of entering bulgaria you just get off the airport or you kind of don't want to sit in a restaurant or you maybe you're having some I don't know qualms about you know the, the Bulgarian menu or maybe it's really daunting this is a really neat way to just kind of get in there and start start slow and uh, try the super awesome uh, Bulgarian cuisine you know just the basic stuff but obviously I, I absolutely 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 love it I'm so fucking excited right now I'm just gonna stand here for the next uh, few minutes uh, maybe eat everything maybe maybe I'll save uh, save something for later but uh, now after this I'm gonna do some shopping ah where are my manners where the heck are my manners I've completely forgotten to tell you guys about something so this is an addendum to the barbecue uh, bit that I just that I just did so every single time you order some food here in Bulgaria of course the number one thing you should order is your Perinsko uh, but always order Lutenica which is the red pepper paste salad whatever you want to call it it's actually a paste and you can put it on absolutely anything so especially if you are eating barbecue like scara food um kebab chill this kind of stuff you absolutely have to try it every place is going to be a little bit different there are thousands of varieties you can get spicy really smoky it should be the it should be on your plate no matter what you're eating okay so definitely uh definitely order the the red pepper uh paste with absolutely every single meal, no matter no matter what you're eating, they also have bop, which is the the bop uh, salad, like a bean bean salad. <laughs> Definitely try that; it's absolutely fantastic. Every place has it; it's super delicious. Uh, but the lutenica is my love, and there's so many varieties. You can buy them at any store. You, you always have to buy it, uh, always. So I'm just strolling through. Why does Bulgarian Siberia always have to be so fucking dirty and so messy and so unkept? I mean, there are thousands of people live here. Oh my God, another rant. But don't you fucking care, people, Bulgarian people? Why is it so dirty here? There's kids and cats and just regular citizens walking around. It's so fucking filthy. I don't want to touch anything. You know, it's just like, there's just garbage everywhere, every corner. Like, don't you people care? <laughs> oh my God, okay, rant is over, but just like, God, it's, it, it's this isn't communist times anymore. Like, why does it have to look like this? <laughs> why does it look like shit? Everything is like fucking. Sorry, that's God getting angry at me right now. Why does everything have to be so unmaintained and so dirty? 
you know, and these are in cheap places, I'm pretty sure. I mean, every garbage just looks like this. Oh, we need to put a cap. Yeah, just come on. Like, can't these people get... Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Just get together and tidy things up a little bit. Jeez. Okay, so that is the end of that. So I went to the sports shop here, trying to locate my backpack. And as awesome the shop is, super modern, super nice. Uh, the people are awesome. They do carry the brand of backpacks that that I uh, that I'm looking for the Osprey backs packs they do have a few of them on display but I mean honestly the access here in Bulgaria is maybe 10% of what the actual brand has to offer so I asked them you know can you help me with this so they look on their website and I gotta tell you like there's maybe 10 15% of actual available products that that you know would be available in the West from this brand and um, even their sort of a Bulgaria wide website because there's a bunch of these shops maybe lists six seven eight Osprey things and I mean uh, they have hundreds of different items they said no we can't even order it uh, so that really sucks so Amazon to Amazon I go I mean just by by um, necessity I guess and again the people are nice the prices seem within you know 15 20 percent so that's a zero issue I would much rather order it from uh, uh, from a Bulgarian retailer than getting it from from Germany and uh, but that's uh, that's kind of sad what can you do and they're so nice and they really want to help that's the beauty of Bulgarian people they're always so nice and whatever capacity they can help you with they generally will at least attempt to and the, the guy I just talked to is just like the nicest dude ever is like I'm just fucking sorry dude yeah I, I understand this is exactly what you're looking for this particular size particular blah 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 all this shit but it's not, he's not even seen one before and I'll just show you know show them on the on the Osprey website and then he says sorry okay so that's the end of that you know what's really cool about suburbia because everything is always so like not that it's just chipped away and and oddly different <laughs> every building is different every building is different color different design different sort of architecture you know most of the little shops down below are always just closed and filled with garbage uh, which is really sad but you know or some of the older sort of soviet era blocks just repainted um, but i really like uh sometimes when you know like it's kind of just like weird i don't understand it so but sometimes you have these cool little shops uh and little restaurants where uh, it's not just uh it's not just cigarettes and and seven day you can actually go in and find some really neat stuff uh if that's what you're looking for it's definitely worth exploring suburbia uh, it's a real step back in uh, in time, but uh, in so many ways in in a, in a really great way and you get to meet lots of people and sit on the bench with some babushkas and old old dudes with beers in hand. They're always so friendly and even if you don't know the language uh, It's always super fun to just sit and chat and just uh, blah 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 use your you know use your arms to communicate and it's awesome. Yeah, try to uh, try to communicate if you can uh, either with your hands, if you don't speak Bulgarian, at least try just some uh, street Bulgarian. Hey, you know the barbecue place that I went to, I'm able to go in and out without saying one English word. So how cool is that? And this cat is just sitting there. I don't know what she's doing. That's it for now. Lots of banter, hey? Holy shit. I love it here. It's so cool here. So when you arrive in Burgas, you actually arrive at the airport here in Safravo, okay, which is kind of uh, right, uh, right behind me, behind the octopus, octopus here. Safravo is actually a really cool little little town, uh, which I will uh, film sometime soon. It's really beautiful. It's actually a really, it would be a really great place to live uh, if you want to buy yourself a little apartment here and live like an Im immigrant, uh, you know, Bulgarian. Or an immigrant from another country and live here in Bulgaria, uh, even part time. Uh, Safrova would be an amazingly beautiful place, very, very quaint, and it's right on the sea and it's right next to the airport. Okay, so just came back from Burgas. As you guys know, I'm still trying to find a stupid backpack. I'm not gonna bore you with details, but you know, one thing that kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth is when you're doing Google searches sometimes for shops, you type in a specific product that you're looking for. In my case, the the backpack, the Osprey backpack, 
So there, there are a few shops that I went to visit in their Google business page, it says, hey, we carry this, this, this. So I go and, and talk, to the, talk to the people, it's really windy still. And then I asked them, you know, hello, it says here, you know, Google business page, it says that you, you sell these products. It says, no, no, uh, we sell the Kuchichka uh, brand of backpacks, which are very similar to these ones. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Again, leaves a sour taste in my mouth. So anyways, I couldn't find anything. There's only really one shop that sells what I want, but they don't really have anything. Okay, but why did I stop here? Well, <laughs> I got a treat for you. So you know how much I love all the little grocery shops that Bulgaria has to offer? And the main ones are, of course, the big giant that we have in Sunny Beach. Uh, there's Lidl, uh, obviously the Mlados one, which me. But uh, one that uh, we don't have actually anywhere close to, the, to Sunny Beach is Bila. So here in Safrovo, right next to the airport, uh, I'm just standing actually on its grounds, is a brand new uh, Bila store. So, I mean, it, it is brand, brand new. I've never been here before. I've driven past here uh, in the past. Uh, driven past here in the past. Hey, that's English for you. Uh, and it was uh, during construction. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I was never, you know, just never really stopped by to, to check it out. But I will now, okay? So, you guys are in for a treat. I'm gonna grab myself a few little uh, treats um, for my barbecue later today. So, check it out. Brand new Bila! And I'm so excited because I love brand new stores and I love something else, something different. They do offer a few different things than, uh, uh, than Lidl does. Lidl. And uh, yeah, they just, uh, they have a really nice deli. Always something a little bit different. So I like scouring around and uh, uh, just checking things out. So I'm really, really excited. Da -da -da. So another super exciting thing, I mean, this is really strange and really lucky because exactly at this second where I parked my, my bike, it has turned, can you see? Exactly 8,000 kilometers. And I can't stress, stress this enough, uh, you know, this is really the cheapest bike that BMW sells. It's essentially like a, just a big scooter. Zero problems, none whatsoever. I ride this thing every single day. 8,000 kilometers, baby, right now. Okay, so I'm going to maybe have the best coffee in the world from the machine get myself jazzed up and boom, do some shopping. Good day today, very strong Bulgarian day. Oh, it's so hard to find a place that isn't so windy. Okay, so I went for a little stroll around Safrovo. That's the place by the airport that I just mentioned and it's so beautiful. There's still lots of people wandering around. Uh, yeah, so if you are planning on uh, buying an apartment here, it certainly should be on your shortlist if you wish to live by the sea and of course you wish to live by the sea. It's very nice, it's very beautiful. So, just as I said, the new villa, obviously, it's quite large and it's very organized, very clean, very just nouveau, very kind of modern. People are super nice, awesome. So you guys are probably just sitting there at the edge of your seats in Rostenshire thinking, Matthew, what the hell did you buy in this uh, new villa? So to be honest, that hasn't been there wasn't a lot of like really different stuff. I can definitely tell the prices are more, but of course I have to add this to every uh, every video now, which I really don't really want to, but I will anyway. So I'll just show you really quickly, like two seconds what I bought. Very overpriced uh, soda water because they don't have like sold out of their just the regular Bulgarian soda water. When you're buying soda water, the Bulgarian soda water for like one level 50 is, is awesome. So soda water, get some Bila eggs. And eggs are at double the price though, it's crazy. Um, look, and Pirinsko, they have rebranded a little bit. The can is kind of like, almost like a lighter color now, so they, they're doing something here. I bought one of these. And of course you guys know, Pirinsko rebranded ice or whatever they call it, just some bullshit thing, but this is the other Pirinsko. It's very tasty, of course. Put some peaches in a jar. I love them. Sometimes in the middle of the night, you have a bit of a sweet tooth, and I'm not a cake guy, so I get some peaches. The before mentioned Lutenica, I like the Peroni brand. It's uh, inexpensive. I just eat it with a spoon without anything sometimes. It's so, so, so freaking delicious. Um, but some fuzzy balls, they are in the season right now. They're super sweet and just the texture is perfect. They're not too soft and not too apple-y. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I got some grapes, okay, 
Oh, and as I mentioned to you guys before, the deli in the back is awesome, okay? So they just slightly different stuff. It's still kind of just regular Bulgarian stuff, but they have this cabbage, um, like sour cabbage thing, and it's completely fully vegetarian, okay? It's absolutely delicious. It's really like, like sour, almost like pickly sour, super hot, uh, you know, bring it home, put it in a pot. Again, super, super, super vegetarian, which of course you need to fix uh, with a little piece of ham. So I bought this kind of, um, they have these like huge chunks of, uh, I guess broiled or whatever ham. So just get like a little piece and then just throw it on top. It's spectacular. And I got some of these dolmads, but I don't think they're called dolmads, but they look like dolmads. And some mushrooms that I will chop up and grill and then add it to my little snack. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you. So I'm super off the beaten path. There's some sort of a campground here to my to my right that I was not able to go inside because this Rajnik said, uh, not for you, Matthew, you cannot enter. Uh, but it looked really nice, kind of cool. Uh, lots of people, kids uh, running around and, and uh, enjoying their fun times. But I couldn't uh, go inside because I'm not a member of their elite camping club. But look, check, check this out. There's this tiny little sliver here. Okay, so this is again just north of uh, South Rovo. And it, you know, just gonna switch this around. Look at this. So there's like this. <laughs> strange looking suburbia here and it just continues on maybe a few more few more houses it kind of looks like you know sort of Canada weird weird Canada but with fences all around all around there like Canadian suburbia but not very kept very well uh, uh, but just in the middle of nowhere you know down a gravel road so I thought that was kind of an odd odd thing but yeah their houses are kind of cool and I'm assuming the sea is relatively close to here i don't know hard to tell but it's it's definitely different you know you know that that place there almost looks like a government building but it looks like just somebody's home so i don't know just kind of odd but very beautiful i like it very much i mean would i want to live here yeah of course i would would i with this barking dog i don't think so okay so i'm gonna head back to the sea back to the beach and eat my very very sour sour capusta sour cabbage and that's gonna be the end of my day today because I'm I'm a little bit tired you know adventuring like this even though I woke up but what time did I get out of bed around 12 30 today it's just boja 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 uh, I still get tired still get tired from like walking around and yapping and uh, just going from place to place so Doo -doo. Goodbye. Bye. Wait, wait, I'm gonna show you just one more thing. Okay, so in today's turbulent times, a Stotinki saved is a Stotinki earned. So I'll just show you that you can still make yourself a dish relatively cheaply if you're super fucking lazy like myself today. Generally, I like to cook uh, food from scratch. But, you know, when you buy stuff from the deli from some of the, from all of the shops in the back, they really do make food just the way you'd make it in the, you know, in your house. I mean, it, it's not like some weird machine produced stuff. There are ladies in the back who are chop chopping all the veggies and stuff like that. So, don't ever feel bad about buying stuff from the deli, from the back of the shop, uh, from the grocery stores. Because generally, you know, if it's fresh, it's going to be really good and it's not going to be really all that bad for you. Uh, whatever. So, in my pot, I just warmed up the the sour cabbage which is absolutely awesome i didn't have to add anything but three things so i added a tiny bit of hot sauce because i like it a little bit spicier and then a box of mushrooms which cost like 180 leva i chopped up the whole box of mushrooms grilled it with the thing there's enough food for probably a couple of two you know two normal people here then a little bit of protein if you want to. So I bought a, this little piece of ham, just put it on top. So yeah, yeah, just a little bit of uh, meat flavor um, on your on your cabbage. And again, it's really, really good. It's like has a, just this really awesome kind of a soury flavor. And and wait, and 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 let's go for the fancy stuff. And you grab yourself a nice little purin skull and the whole total for all of this. And it's not really that bad, you know. There's some vegetables. You know, lots of fiber and stuff, so it's good for your poops. You got your uh, alcoholiness and a little bit of, you know, protein. But again, that's, you know, that's up to you if you want to add the ham or not. What is this? Uh, including the beer, maybe six leva, seven, seven 
one, two, three, four. Let's say seven leva, maybe eight leva. So four euros and you have this dish here and you can easily feed two people and you have a beer. So it's a pretty good deal still, I think. Uh, and um, you know, if, if, if you're on a budget, it's still possible to uh, eat okay um, in, in beautiful Bulgaria. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. I have to go feed the cats, they're yelling. They're not yelling now. Ciao.